Dudes, do you know what today is? I'm excited, you know I'm excited? Because I've been waiting months for that palette of parts. That is the quarter panels and fenders for my vintage, my 1969 Porsche 911S Blasphemy build. I can now make this thing that currently looks like a cockroach start looking like a car again. On this video, I'm going to unbox all of these parts, lay them up on the car, and see what it looks like as a car again. Why don't I tear into it now, and let's get this palette torn apart. They do wiring harnesses now too. Are you guys seeing this? Restoration Design now does Porsche wiring harnesses, which is really cool because nobody else does. And then they're having an open house on October 26th, which is my birthday, everybody. This is one of my fenders. I'm hoping right, because that's the one I want to open. And it is. Here's the cocoon of foam security that these are wrapped in. Let's pull them out. Oh boy. Wow. That's amazing. literally never seen a brand new vintage Porsche fender. Like I've never seen one. They've always been primered or rust repaired or 50 years old. This thing is gorgeous. I mean, it's like every piece of it is perfect. And I mean, obviously, right? Restoration Design, who makes not only these kinds of parts, but pretty much everything you can think of for these vintage 911s, almost every rust repair panel uh, you can find, um, and, not, and not only for 911s, they're in the process right now of completely rebuilding a Porsche 356. So if you wanted to, you could from scratch build a 356 brand new, like every panel completely brand new, which is crazy, right? It's kind of, it's cool because it's almost like we're finally catching up in the Porsche world to the rest of automotive hot rod world where you can build a Shelby or a Mustang or, you know, you name it. Even some of the vintage Ferraris and things like that. Um, there are kits for those where you can effectively build that car. So with these kinds of panels from Restoration Design, not only do you not have to mess with rust repair and that kind of thing, but they just bolt on and they fit factory, they're metal, super stoked. All right, this is the front fender. Let's check out the rear quarter. I've got the rear quarters right behind me. Let's pull them out and see what they look like. <laughs> yes, that is so sick. That is so cool. A couple things about this that I didn't realize. It fully has the front latch panel to the door, which helps you align it. I didn't realize this part came with that, but it makes sense that it does. And then you can see that it's got the articulation on the back. Let's see if I can get the light. Um, where you bolt it in, which is great. Obviously the window frame, which I'm probably not gonna use on mine. Everything to accommodate the tail light. You know, how many of you guys have the, these tail lights that are, that are just all rusted here? Can you imagine now not having to deal with that? That is so cool. This is gonna be interesting for me because this car, my blasphemy build project is actually not going to have uh, rain gutters on it. So I'm probably gonna cut this panel kind of here below the gutters 
and I'll probably use this as a bit of a um, as a bit of a test to sort of see how my see how my uh, fenders line up and and um, maybe do a little gutter trimming just in case. I'm gonna grab a few clamps and see if I can just get some of this stuff just quickly bolted on, like mocked up on the car. I won't be able to fully fit it, which will be in another video, obviously, but even just laying over the front will be kind of cool to see what it looks like as a car again. So I'm gonna try to just kind of size up these pieces, at least the left side, rear quarter, and fender. Probably because there's so much stuff and custom modification on my car, I won't be able to just kind of sync it up and make it perfect, but it's not what this is about. This is just about kind of seeing the car as a 911 again versus this weird cockroach thing we've got going on now and just kind of digging this, you know, restoration design gear. So let's go have a look at it. moment I mean it's not really a car yet so my car has had so much custom fabrication stuff up front here that I can't just pull this thing and lock it where it's gonna be and it has all this crazy front air dam stuff that I'm gonna have to modify it to get you know original bumpers back on and such but so cool to see you know kind of the lines of the car again and get a little Porsche style here um, yeah, it's gonna be rad. But man, these things just look great. You know, I think every body panel is gonna require a little, you know, love and massage. You can see the modification. This guy has welded this whole section up here underneath this whole, this whole box section that I'm gonna have to cut out to get this thing to mount the way it's supposed to. But nevertheless, I got him. We're gonna make some progress. It's gonna look like a car. Stoked. Special thanks to Restoration Design once again for these panels. They are absolutely perfect. If you wanna to go to eBay or Pelican or any of the other parts and get a bunch of used pieces that are probably in need of rust repair and they're dirty and they're 50 years old, consider spending a little bit more money but getting everything brand new delivered to your house completely rust free, perfect fitment, steel, no welding required. It is absolutely the best way to go. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you'll subscribe to the channel as I build this car, which was a race car, into my blasphemy build. If you haven't seen the videos yet, check them out. There's a whole playlist on my 69 911S blasphemy build. And if you are restoring or doing any kind of repair on a 911, a 914, a 356, restoration design is what you have to check out because these guys make amazing, amazing stuff. We'll see you next time.